This is Evan Irwin live from Charlotte and Welcome to the All right, I'm here with Benjamin Peoples Monday. We just finished a feature match in round four. Benjamin, what that deck are you playing today? Uh, the Revel Art combo deck. All right, and you feel that that's the best deck in the format? Um, I can't say for certain, but I think that it is. And if it's not the best deck, it's at least very powerful. So. Okay. Uh, once you step us through uh, the first couple of games there, he said you guys mulligan quite a bit. Uh, what seemed to be the swinging points of those games? No action into well, no the first game into uh, two uh, islands, and basically no. Nope. Uh, then I, you know, got lucky and drew two planes in a row. But he just played a turn two battle axe and just killed me instantly. Um, game two, um, basically I was dead to all of his man lands. But there was this one turn where all I had was uh, a revel arc, two mana up, and I was at two life. And if he attacked with all of his creatures, I would die. But uh, I guess he was afraid of something, so he attacked with just his two man lands. And I had a momentary blink to live through the turn. And then I had Magus of the Moat, which he just didn't have any outs to. I had yeah, and, uh, a lot of Wrath of the End, but I also had uh, uh, only four Revel Arcs. So again, he had a ton of man lands. But as soon as I got through all of the man lands, then. And my Revel Arcs just were. He couldn't beat them. So, I mean, it's really the man lands out of that deck that's scary. Right. Well, sitting here at 4-0 uh, and now, what uh, what are you looking to see the rest of the day? Uh, what matchups do you not want to see the rest of the day? Uh, we're kind of afraid of fairies and rogues, just because they can get ahead of you and then, you know, stop you from doing anything else, either with Nog and Whack or with a Counterspell. Um, I would rather not play against Dragonstorm. <laughs> I got lucky and beat it in round two, but I don't think that's a great matchup. Uh, control decks are a really good matchup, usually, because you can get ahead of them with Maul Drifters and with uh, Cloud Skates. Like, one round, you know, I just literally bounced all of my opponent's lands, and I had eight permanents in play, and he had zero. So, you know, I'd like to play against that all day. <laughs> all right. Uh, what, uh, what are the decks that you've played against so far? Uh, let's see. In round, I don't even remember round one. Round two, I played against Dragonstorm. Round three, I was playing against Blue-White Control with, like, a Chroma for the Kill Condition, and he had main deck moats and uh, or fire nodes. So I had a really good matchup against him, and then I just played against Elves. Um... I wish I could remember what I played in round one. But. All right. Well, we'll hopefully be with you the rest of the day. Right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. I took it down 2-1 against a uh, a, guy, a blue eye guile deck. Um, that was the closest closest game so far of the day. Uh, he took down game one real fast. Like he went like turboed out guile like turn five on on I think I think he was on the play. I can't remember, but he, he got that out real quick. And uh, like he like I played a cloud thresher, you know, hoping he didn't impact and he didn't. And uh, oblivion ring didn't just got in there for enough. You know the cloud thresher did me too, and he just had to get three swings in, and that was it. And uh, games two and three were just wars of attrition like he had double ancestral visions out and i got to harmonize three times and it was just a really long game with me having like 12 lands out i, I played a chroma twice and he wrath them both and it eventually ended up treetops winning the game and then game three was a similar situation not quite as long and eventually he had to wrath away two beast tokens from garrick and a tarmogoyf and uh i had a chroma i played that he didn't have an answer because he had already used his two cryptic commands that he had in hand and he already used a wrath effect so Chroma, attack, pump, that was game. So, so what did you sign for? Chromas and Acid Moss. And I, I boarded in two commanding classes because I just boarded out all the wall of roots. Like, I, they're, they're just awful in a deck with Wrath of Gods. It's not doing any blocking, it's not doing much of anything. So, my curve gets a little whacked out because I have like a whole bunch of four drops. But it's. I'd rather have Colossus and wall of roots every time other than turn two. So. So was there anything you think you could have done differently against that type of deck in the future? Uh, maybe play the fourth Chroma in the board again. I don't know. Because you lay that down, they have to have a Wrath Effect, or it's pretty it's pretty tough to win. Unless I can Cryptic Command it three times while swinging with Guile or something. Or, you know, it's pretty tough. But 